In this tutorial, I'm going to give you a basic overview of the Divi theme customizer and module customizers. What these are are a set of design controls that you can use to customize just about every aspect of your website and um, individual modules as well. And I'm going to give you a basic overview of, of how this customizer works. And if you want any uh, more information about you know, individual settings, um, we have more detailed tutorials that go into each panel in the customizer, so be sure to check those out. I'm not going to go over every single setting in this uh, tutorial, since there's actually hundreds of settings uh, available. So I'm just going to you know, show you how to use it, and then you can kind of explore for yourself. Most of the settings are pretty self-explanatory. So to access the theme customizer, head over to your WordPress dashboard, and then find the Divi link, and then click on the theme customizer. Like I said, there's two customizers. There's the theme customizer and then the module customizer. What we did is we actually split up the customizer into two sections, and the module customizer is dedicated to customizing the appearance of individual modules, while the theme customizer kind of affects your entire website. So we're going to take a look at the theme customizer first. And when you load this up, you can see the, um, the settings are broken into various uh, sections here. And these are all panels, a general settings, header navigation, footer, buttons, blog, and mobile styles. And you can open up all of these um, to reveal additional tabs with all of the settings that you can use. So I'm going to go through each of these very briefly and just to give you an idea of how you can use the customizer. So I'm going to go over to our general settings and the first tab here is the layout settings. And you can do things here like enable box layout. You can um, adjust your website content width. You can adjust the gutter width, which is the distance you know, between all of your columns. You can make that you know, larger or smaller. You can adjust your section height. So if you want to make sections a little bit bigger or smaller, maybe you want to reduce the padding between all of your sections, you can do that. And you can adjust uh, the, the, mm, the height of rows as well. Now, if you ever kind of get lost in all the customizations you've made, you might want to go back to how they were before, and you don't remember where you know, the setting was originally, you can click this reset button, and it'll reset it back to the original value. So there's some basic layout settings. We have typography settings as well. And you'll find typography settings kind of mixed all around the customizer, you know, whether you're editing the footer or the header or you're in the general settings here. A lot of these typography settings are shared. And so, and they all work the same way. There's um, text size options, uh, text styling options, and color options, and then font options. So you can adjust the text size. For example, the body text, you can make it bigger or smaller. And you can just drag the slider and kind of get an idea where you, where you want it to be. You can um, adjust the line height as well. You can adjust the header text size, um, letter spacing between the header letters, and you can adjust font styles as well. So let me start over. For example, here's a, here's a, here's a fun way to kind of combine these settings. I might make my header font bold, make it all caps, uh, reduce the text size a little bit, and then add some letter spacing. And just with a few clicks, we've kind of like really changed the look and feel of our site. You can also choose between dozens of fonts here to use for your header and body. And you can adjust the colors as well. We have a background tab here where you can add a background image or background color. And that's all a basic overview of the general settings. So once um, if you ever want to get back to the main customizer, you click this arrow here. And you can uh, kind of delve into the other panels. So I'm going to go over to header and navigation next. And there's lots of settings here. Like I said, we have a, a tutorial dedicated just to header settings. So there's like a, a lot you can do, especially when you start combining the settings here to create some really cool effects. But I'm just going to give you a basic overview. There's a header format box, which kind of adjusts the overall layout of the header. You can switch between vertical navigation and horizontal navigation. You can choose to hide your navigation until the user scrolls. And you can choose between different header styles. We have centered, we have centered inline logo, and we have the default layout. Um, and then we have vertical navigation, as I said, which places the navigation on the left, where you can go back to kind of the standard horizontal one. Next, you can customize the primary menu bar, which is the, the bigger white menu bar here that contains your logo. You can adjust um, the text sizes. So if I wanted to kind of change these text sizes to match our headers that we just changed earlier, well, I might make them bold, all caps, increase the letter spacing a bit. And there, that kind of, kind of matches the changes we made earlier. And going a bit further, you can change the background color. So I could change this to purple, let's say. And then I might change my links to white so that they show up a little bit better. 
And there you can see just with a few clicks, you've, you've really changed kind of the appearance and the style of this header. Now you can do the same kind of stuff for the secondary menu bar, which is the bar that appears above the header. And if you don't see a secondary na navigation bar on your site, that just means you haven't added a menu yet. And so bef in, until you add a secondary menu to your site, um, this bar is not, probably not going to show up because there's no content to put in it. And you can adjust the background color and the text sizes and all that good stuff, just like you can do for, every, uh, for the primary navigation bar. Finally, we have the fixed navigation. Now what this is, is the navigation bar when it's in its fixed state as you scroll. So you'll notice as you scroll down, the header gets uh, fixed to the top of the screen here. And we call that the fixed header when it kind of sticks to the top. And you can adjust the styles for that independently. As for example, I might make it a little bit smaller. if I want to give it more room. So if I scroll up, it, gets, it goes back to its normal state. And I scroll down, it gets smaller. So it gets, I've adjusted the fixed menu height kind of independently there. Um, I can adjust the background color. Um, let's say I want to make it blue instead of purple. Maybe I want to make change my mind, make it a little bigger. <coughs> Um, you can even make it transparent, which is kind of nice. So if you have like a large fixed menu, you might make the background color transparent so you can kind of see what's behind it a little bit, like that. Yes, yeah, so there's lots of do lots you can do here, um, kind of customizing the fixed navigation independently of your primary um, non-fixed navigation. And then moving on, there's various header em elements you can enable or disable. You can, you know, enable or disable the search icon, the social icons and also add a phone number and email address if you so desire. Next up, um, we have our footer settings. So you can adjust the footer um, appearance, just like you can the rest of the site. So we have all a lot of the similar settings here. If you delve into the widgets area, you can adjust the widget text uh, size, um, the styles, you know, all this stuff. There's a lot you can do. You can uh, change their colors, change the background color, and so on. Um, there's various elements you can uh, enable in the footer, such as social icons. You can adjust the styles for the menu that appears down here. And you can adjust the style of like, the bottom bar, which has your social icons. You might want to make this a different color, for instance. And then you could adjust you know, the font style, icon size. Text color, now we made it green, probably want to make it white instead. Uh, social icon color. And you can see with just a few clicks, we've really uh, changed the look of the footer. And uh, next up is the button styles. And um, there's really no limit to what you can do with our button options. So I'm going to. Open with the button style. Now, they're separated into two, two different uh, tabs here. You have your button styles and your button hover styles. Um, the hover styles is what you see when your uh, mouse hovers over the button. So you can adjust kind of the text size, which will make your button a lot bigger. You can adjust the text color and the background color. Like maybe I want to make this a green button instead of white. You could uh, adjust the border width. Maybe I want to take away the border completely. Um, you can do the border radius, which will adjust the corners. And if you drag it far enough, it'll become like a circular button, as you can see. And you can do the font styles like you can everywhere else. Um, you can choose a different text if you want. A uh, different font, I mean, sorry. And you can adjust the icon, icon color, icon placement, and all that. And where it really gets interesting is where you combine this with the hover styles. So for example, let's say I want to make this turn red when you hover over it. Well, you just have to change the background color to red and you'll get a nice animation there from green to red. And then you can adjust you know, the letter spacing. Maybe you want your button to get a little bigger, like that, when you hover over it. Um, you can add a border to it, border color, have the border color fade uh, during the transition. Um, even adjust the border radius uh, differently. So maybe I want to make this square. You can go from circle to square, which is a little crazy, but maybe you use it in moderation. It could be cool. Maybe you want to like just make it a little bit less rounded, like this. So yeah, there's a, there's a lot of fun stuff you can do with buttons. So I uh, encourage you to explore that or take a look at our button tutorial, which goes into more detail. Um, we have various blog options. So you can adjust all the fonts you know, for your blog posts, you know, such as your header and the metadata, 
and all that. <coughs> you know how that works. I'm not going to go into that. And the, the final thing I want to touch on here is the mobile styles. So what's, what's cool about the, the Divi theme customizers that you can adjust mobile styles independently from your desktop styles. And it's going to give you a nice preview here too. So um, let's say you've adjusted your, your header size and your body font size for desktop, but it's just like looking a little bit too big for you on mobile. You want to tone it down on mobile a little bit. Well, that's fine. You can, uh, make, you can head over to the phone section here and just uh, adjust the body font size. You can make it a little smaller if you want. Or bigger, in fact. In fact, you probably want to make it a little bit bigger so it's more readable. And you can do the same for tablet. Um, and you can adjust those independently. And you can also adjust your mobile menu, um, the, the navigation bar. So those, those menu settings we were adjusting earlier, where I talked about the primary menu settings, the fixed menu settings, well, you also have mobile menu settings. Because when you go down to tablet size, the, the mobile menu changes a bit. And so we let you customize that independently um, of the desktop menu. And when you're all done, you can just head back out here, and then you're going to get that uh, desktop view returned. So yeah, that's a basic overview of the theme customizer. And there, there's just so much you can do here. So I really uh, suggest that you play around with all the settings. And if you want more information about the particular areas of the theme customizer, uh, be sure to check out those tutorials. Now, in addition to the theme customizer, Divi also comes with a module customizer. Now, we've separated these um, two customizers into two different areas. And the theme customizer, like I mentioned earlier, focuses on adjusting kind of elements that affect your entire website, while the module customizer kind of drills down and focuses on individual modules. So if you ever want to change something about the appearance of a certain module across your entire site, well, then you should head over to the, the module customizer by going to the Divi link here and then clicking on the module customizer link. Now this will launch a new customizer window and you'll see on the left here we have a new set of options which is a list of all the Divi modules. And if there's something you want to change about a particular module, well then you can do it here. For example, let's say that I'm bothered by the size of the full width sliders. I want to make them a little bit smaller. I think, you know, it's just they're taking up too much room. Well, that's easy to do in the module customizer. Just go over to the full width slider panel and then adjust the uh, top and bottom padding values. So I can just bring that down, shrink the slider. Now, whenever I add a new slider to my site, it's going to be uh, a little bit smaller like this. And in addition, you can adjust all the font sizes like you can do everywhere else and the font styles. So I could you know, um, make it all caps, make it bold, make it bigger, make it smaller. Um, you can do that all here in the module customizer. And you can do it for any of the modules that Divi comes with. So um, if I want to adjust um, these counters, for example, go over to the number counter, um, you know, adjust the font styles, make them bold and italic and underlined, and you get a live preview of those changes here. And when you're done, just click Save and Publish. Yep, so that's a basic overview of the theme customizer and the module customizer. And if you'd like more information about individual settings, um, we have some, you know, tutorials detail, uh, some tutorials uh, focused on you know, individual sections of the customizer, such as customizing your menu, uh, customizing buttons, and so on. And uh, yep, that's a basic overview of the Divi theme and module customizers.